Go First Airlines is going through a major turbulence and its services have now come to a halt. But it is not the first high-profile carrier to go bankrupt. If you look at the trends, the Indian aviation sector has seen so many airlines either go out of business or get bought after incurring heavy losses. Many rich entrepreneurs who liked the idea of having a high-status business like running an airline have been especially drawn to aviation. However, aviation has proved to be a tough business to get into. There are major turbulences in this business and sometimes there's a crash. But have you ever thought about the factors that lead to an airline's failure? Hello, this is Shweta Mathis. Let's understand why do airlines fail in India. To find out the reason behind an airline's failure, let's first look at the factors that pushed Go First into bankruptcy. Go First, the latest casualty in the Indian skies, has blamed its troubles on American company Pratt & Whitney's faulty engines because of which the airline had to ground half of its fleet. However, on the other hand, Pratt & Whitney has said that Go First had a long history of non-payment of dues and now the engine makers are giving first preference to the airlines which paid on time. And this in turn has pushed Go First into bankruptcy. But Go First is not the first private airline to hit a dead end in India. Let's now look at the several challenges that airlines in India have to face. A lot of operating cost in aviation is spent on air turbine fuel and in the recent years, ATF has seen a phenomenal rise in prices by nearly 60% to 70%. On top of it, ATF is heavily taxed in India. A value-added tax is imposed on the fuel by individual states which could be as high as 30%. An appreciating dollar raises the costs of an airline. But how? As you know, jet fuel, lease payments, maintenance and overhaul costs along with aircraft purchases are typically priced in dollars. And whenever rupee depreciates against dollar, it increases the cost of operations and makes overseas tickets more expensive. Another major challenge in aviation sector is the demand for air travel, which is sensitive to global disruptions such as pandemics and conflicts. Whenever there is a fluctuation in demand, it plays havoc on airline business since every seat going vacant translates into loss. Even when the demand of travel is low, airlines still have to pay salaries to its staff, which includes pilots who are one of the highly paid professionals. On top of it, planes have to be ordered years in advance since it takes a lot of time to build them. So while placing orders for planes, an airline must have a good idea of future demand. Other than that, planes require regular maintenance even when they are grounded. Airport costs too are high, especially for low-cost airlines. Airfares in India are regulated by the government, because of which airlines can't hike fares as much as they want whenever there is intense competition. But India isn't the only country to face such issues. These factors are present in the aviation sector of every country. However, Indian aviation sector seems to have a weaker immunity against all these problems. We are yet to see how go first fares in the times to come or will we see another low-cost airline bite the dust? Only time will tell. That's all for now in this video. For more such content, keep watching Z Business.